In this video, we're going to look at the file stream object, which will allow us to save data to a file, which is something we have not done yet. All of our programs in the past, any user input, any any output that was generated, is it's done and over with once the program ends. There's no evidence of us having run the program at all. But now that's going to change. Um, for example, here I'm going to enter some shopping list items. Okay. And uh, I, this is a user-driven loop, actually. And I'll just enter a few items here. And uh, notice this, cat space food. Remember, CN doesn't like spaces, so I'm using get line for the user input. And then um, finally, I'm going to press Q to quit. We call that a sentinel value when you you're, um, you have a value that's going to finally end a loop. And um, it says here, file saved. So what I'm going to do is uh, minimize this, and I'm going to drill down into all oh, this garbage. Yeah, here it is. This is the project. I'm in the, this is the project folder, demo project. I have a lot of stuff in here, but basically I've saved the shopping list or my program has saved the shopping list as this file, shoppinglist.txt, which we can then open up in Notepad. And then if I want it, I could print this out and take it to the store with me. Okay. So let's take a look at the code. It's not a lot of code. The first thing you have to be aware of is you have to include the fstream header file for file stream. Okay, so put that at the top of your program. And um, I have a string variable here to kind of receive the item, the current item that's being typed in. So I'm creating this um, of stream object. It's like a file stream for the file output. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. I called mine output file. And then I'm going to type output file, output file dot open. And we're going to open the file for output. And, I, and then here you hard code whatever name you want to call that file. I put a txt extension on that so it would open up in notepad. You could put, um, if you wanted to try like a docx, that might open it up in Microsoft Word. Typically, it's uh, you'd want to save it in uh, as a just a raw text file, though. It, it's going to be raw, unformatted text. And then I have a loop, user-driven loop, while the item that I'm entering is not equal to q, which is my sentinel value, we said, to end the loop. I'm just going to keep asking the user, enter a new one or Q to quit. I'm using get line. We talked about the possibility there might be spaces in the item. And then um, here, this is just, um, you know, eventually the user is going to type a Q to quit, and I don't want to write that to the file. So I'm saying if the item is not equal to Q, that means I have a good shopping list item, and I am going to go ahead and write that to the file. And you write it to the file using this line, which is, um, it's a lot like your C out statement in that it uses the insertion operators, right? But um, I'm writing it to my output file. This is the item, the pretzels, the coffee, the cat food. Uh, I am appending a new line escape sequence to the end of each item so that you, they're like in a list format. Otherwise, they'd all be on the same line squished together, which I don't want. So this is the actual line that's writing the item to the file, as long as the item is not a queue. That, like I said, I don't want to write the queue to the file. I just want the shopping list item. So that's why I threw that into a small decision structure. And that's it. Uh, once I'm done, I'm going to close up the file. That's just good housekeeping. And I typically will give a, a C out to the user to let the user, give the user some feedback to let them know that the operation was successful. 